What's up, guys? Going into a game of Blitz Markov. Want to definitely try him out. So we're up again, or we're with a bunch of bronze people that I don't really know. So this could be a, a rough game. Uh, we got two bronzes and one determining rank up against a determining ranked monster. So hopefully the monster is also pretty new to the game. Because I'm not that great at uh, keeping my distance with Blitz Markov yet. somewhat difficult against certain monsters to do it. Obviously, What's Blitz, gonna be? Blitz Markov would be really good against What's like, gonna Behemoth. Be? So we have a Lazarus, Sunny, Griffin. I would not pick Griffin with the other two people that they have on this team. Actually, Sunny's fine, but Lazarus... Um, if this monster is smart, he'll just focus on Griffin every dome. That's what I would do if I saw this team. Alright, so what do we got? Goliath, okay. It's a pretty standard matchup. At least Griffin's pretty good against Goliath. Actually, all of this team is good against Goliath. Markov may be the least so, because uh, Goliath has a pretty easy time clearing mines with Flame Breath. Alright, so I think I took Jetpack Recharge. I think that's definitely the smartest choice for Blitz Markov, because you have to be really close to the monster to not lose that chain. If you lose that chain for just a second, you'll go all the way back down to level 1. So we're on MedLab. I don't. I haven't found the uh, movement speed buff where I normally find it on MedLab. I used to look for it literally every game until they changed the map. It used to be like right along here in this area, but uh, I haven't found it since then. So, did he sneak from the start? No. Well, that's a good thing. I mean, I don't sneak hardly ever now. Well, I guess he started here. I heard the spotter. They're all going in the right direction, or I'd tell them. There's tracks, obviously, but yeah. Spotters can definitely be helpful. It's that screech that you'll hear off in the distance. If you rewind the video and like listen for it, there's a bit of a screech. He's like right here. That's some damage. That's some damage. Alright, this monster doesn't know what they're doing. <laughs> we might win stage uh, stage one first dome. It's very possible. If he just sits here and lets me do my damage, it would be very bad for him. Getting a little bit of FPS drop for some reason. Wow, he got hit with that mine and it took almost all of his health. I don't know why he's going for me. He's still fighting. I don't know what this guy's doing. Sometimes you get these games. Alright, well I'll see if I can group that in with another... <laughs> with another quick uh, game. So, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you next time. What's up guys? Going into another game of Blitz Markov. Um, it looks like we have another low skill game with a couple determining ranks and bronzes. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. I actually like Bucket here. I think Bucket's pretty good against uh, Gorgon. You see Gorgon a lot, although Elite Gorgon or Bronze it might be a little bit early to have it eluded.
This is probably either Kraken or Goliath, maybe Wraith. I always take Jetpack Recharge and Blitz Markov because it's uh, really good to to be able to stay in range for your Lightning Gun. Have those Jetpack Bursts available always. Hopefully our Medic will pick. Alright, Lazarus. I don't really like Lazarus right now in the meta. I liked him before Gorgon came out, but I think Gorgon's really good against Lazarus. At least we do have a Maggie, so it's a bit more of a defensive trapper. But obviously the bucket pick is incorrect now because of Lazarus. We would need a defensive support for this to be like a competitive team, but I mean anything can go in these lower ranked matches. As you would know with any other game you've played uh, that has ranking system, you can pretty much do anything in the lower ranks, and if you're good, you can make it work. Alright, so Goliath on Fusion Plant. I like Fusion Plant. I think it's a pretty balanced map. May I wouldn't say it's slightly Hunter favored. I think it's Hunter favored maybe at the relay, but I think it's Monster favored elsewhere on the map. That big uh, obstruction in the top left corner, I think it is, makes it kind of easy to force the Trapper to commit to one direction and then go the other way. And dodge domes that way. But other than that, there's a pretty good sight distance for the hunters. So if you don't abuse that little area, then I think it's hunter favored. That rock that you can see right there, that's the obstruction I'm talking about. And you can see flame breath right in front of us. Hopefully everybody caught that. my team. He's out. Hold the number four key to take down the dome. Alright, so the monster is over there. Um, the monster is kind of new, and so is the trapper. Although well, the trapper may have just, I don't know. I mean, he, he like, it was a very close dome. If the, if the monster hadn't jumped right then, then. It would have been in. Yeah, I think I saw him over there for a second. Or I saw, like, the end of Flame Breath. Oh, that's too far from me. 
140 meters, I'll never make it back. There's other people around there, so hopefully they'll get him. I'm very far by myself. Um, reload versus poison. I think I have to take poison. It's really strong. Yeah, they're all very far away. I can't help the games that it gives me. He's like, right near me. I don't know exactly where he's at, but... I think he might have went under me. Yeah. I just wanted to tag him once for the poison. It would give a little bit of pressure. I wish these guys wouldn't all follow directly. This is the part of the air, the map where it's... Oh, he says he want to fight? Now that he used Flame Breath... Monster kind of looks like he might know a little bit of what he's doing in combat. We didn't, didn't deal nearly enough damage to him here. He actually got me up. Lazarus is down though. I think they might have gotten Lazarus up, that's very good. Got Lazarus again. I'll take the Daisy revive. That was close. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.